Do you want to make your own Ghost Recon Wildlands game? Well, with this, now you can. What's up, everybody? If you've never heard of me before, my name is BlueDrake42, and I run a game development studio that makes games with Unreal Engine. And every single day, I go out and I find the coolest Unreal Engine stuff, which I share with you guys, and maybe you can even make your own games and make a living from making games using the stuff that I show you. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe. Now, if you want to download this third-person shooter template, you can get it using the link in the description down below. But this is being created by a very underground YouTube creator called Soryox. Currently, he only has 871 subscribers. So definitely go and check out his channel. Currently, this template he is selling for about $15 through his Patreon. But I would say that's a pretty good deal for all of the stuff that it currently has. One of the more interesting things that he has shown with some of his templates that he's been building is their out-of-the-box compatibility with popular assets on the Marketplace store, such as Cinti assets. Now, I'm a big fan of Cinti Studios and the work that they've done. They create a whole bunch of low-poly environments, characters, weapons, and a lot of people know them because they're used in a lot of games that are on Steam. But I think that regardless of the number of games that use these assets, the assets are still really, really good. And seeing him have this Ghost Recon style template that's compatible with this low poly aesthetic, I'm not gonna lie, I would play this. I would very much like to play a game that looks like this. He has also showcased a fully functional vehicle system for this where you can drive cars, you can fly aircraft, and in some of his demos, he's even been showing off fixed wing flight controllers. I mean, this guy's really been doing it all. And quite frankly, this is a great example as to why I have shifted away from covering games and I'm focusing more on covering game developers because the industry is changing and I'm honestly getting more and more excited about some of the development projects that are being released either as open source or on the marketplace or elsewhere as opposed to fully priced games that are 30 $50 or, you know, full of microtransactions because some of these demos, some of these systems, not only can you use them to make your own games, but out of the box, they're already pretty fun by themselves, if not up to the quality standards of some fully priced games on Steam. And I think what really blew my mind was when he started showing how his system is also compatible with a lot of the vehicles for the Cinti asset packs that he was showing before. So you've got Blackhawks, you've got attack helicopters, you've got ground vehicles. I mean, you've got compatibility with some of the most aesthetically pleasing assets that are already out there. You could pretty easily create at least a simple Ghost Recon Wildlands game in a low poly art style in a couple of weeks with this template. He has also been working on AI systems, although he seems to be more focused on zombies than full blown operator AI that you would fight against. Although I feel that's probably because the zombie AI is a little bit easier. Maybe he'll have more advanced AI in the future that you can fight against like you see in Ghost Recon Wildlands with the NPCs that take cover and fight as a squad. But for $15, I would still say that this is a pretty good deal. And the most valuable aspect of this is not necessarily the AI, not necessarily even the vehicle system. I think just the player controller by itself with the weapon handling, with the animations for vaulting and being able to clamber over objects. This really is a full third person shooter framework for Unreal Engine 5. So you guys, let me know what you think. If you give this a shot, if you try this out for yourself, is this something that you would use in your game? Is it not? If so, why? Very interested in hearing your feedback down below. And besides that, if you guys want to go and check this out for yourself, remember, go give this creator a subscription. I am going to be following his progress, and who knows, maybe we might integrate parts of this into our own game. I know a lot of people have been saying they would really love to see a third-person aspect for Operation Harsh Doorstop. This might be something that we could integrate, allowing players to play in that perspective. Is that something you would be interested in? Is it not? Please let me know. And of course, if you're interested in stuff like this, 
make sure you subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming down the pipeline showing you some pretty cool projects that I don't think you guys are going to know about. All right. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.